Welcome back to Culture Clash Reactions. It's me, Finn. It's me, Akasha. And I should probably say, Assalamu alaikum to all of my North African brothers and sisters and all Arabs, Middle Easterners around the world. Hi. <laughs> Any Arabics, babe? Any that you remember that you can maybe Arabics? say? Keith Alec. Keith Halik. Say that. Cultured. Anyway. That means, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> um, on today's video, I thought I'd go back to some more as we... I don't know if you're new to the channel, uh, but I am half Libyan and half British. And my lovely fiancé here is American and comes from a long line of Czechoslovakian family. Uh, hence why I work Culture Clash Reactions. Um... We do a lot of British stuff, a lot of American stuff today. I thought I'd do something not only Arab, but something particularly from where I'm from, North Africa. So I'm excited to see what this is about. It's a video called, I've never seen it before. Okay. It's a video called um, What North Africans Think of Each Other. Okay. So this should be interesting. I think they'll keep it pretty friendly. I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be like a kind, nice, cutesy video. I don't think it's going to be like, oh, I don't fucking like them. Um, okay. So let's just check it out. Should we do it? Yeah, I'm interested. Let's do it. They have a weird accent. They love wearing too much cologne. And the men are cute. Really? Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> so okay. Libya! Libya! Kaftan. Tajin. Kus, 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 kus. Ooh, yeah. If you were to ask any other Arabs about our dialect, they would say it's not Arabic because exactly, it makes it yeah. so much with French. Morocco, we can't understand what you're saying. Morocco for me is like a sign. Let's say I'm from Tunisia. Like, what? So you know that we all speak Arabic, obviously, um, but the Moroccans and the Algerians, even I, find quite difficult to understand. To understand. Yeah. Yes, particularly more than any other Arab country. And it's because they have a lot of uh, French heritage and also they actually have some of like their, just their own words. Um, so yeah, you guys I'd, have a lot of Italian, right? Because a lot do. of your words are correct. Because whenever you get off the phone, you say ciao, ciao. That's true. But Libyans are very good at. We can also switch it whenever we need yeah. to. Uh, I'm not sure. If, anyway. What? Like where is that? Do you know Morocco? <laughs> really true. next to it. Aren't they sneaking into Spain or something like crazy? They're very sneaky. Are you sneaking Morocco? They sneak into France yeah. too. Yeah. Moroccans, they they'll get into Europe. You know what I mean? They'll they'll get in there. <laughs> oh. Talker. Super dramatic. And yes, talk. they're very Italians they're, of the yeah, Arab world. They're very extra. They, they have the pyramids, so they're yeah, always exactly. talking like shit. Like it happened four thousand years ago. Get yeah. over yourself. Get over it. Right? Like yeah. come up with something new. Yeah, we grew up seeing movies, um, Egyptian movies, Egyptian songs as well. That's Singers. They, oh yeah. Egypt has a big cultural um, yes. on the Arab world, as he said, from music and uh, That's what I was uh, comedy say. and 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 movies, but also just the massive history. I've I mean, noticed that even when we're listening, like when you put on Arab music in the car. A lot of it is Egyptian, and you right. know most of them. Yeah, I was going to say, my particular favorite, though, is, is probably, I like all the classic Moroccan singers, actually, mm. and Algerian, like Isheb Khal, and all those kind of guys. I like all that older stuff. So, all across, I mean, it's, it's it's all, I like all of it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Egypt, I mean, just massive history. Yeah. I mean, just. Totally. The pyramids alone blow. Of I course. mean, there's people trying to study that for, the, I don't of know, course. how many decades. Yes, a lot Mama of Piyab, really good singers. That guy's been yeah. killing the whole yeah. Middle East for decades. And, and they're just like, they're just too much. They're everywhere, too. It's like, look at us. At us. We're Egyptian. Basically, I'm really in love with the country. <laughs> Libyans throw a bit of shade at the Egyptians. I was about to say, a little bit, <laughs> been a little bit <laughs> aggressive. Us, we're Egyptians. I mean, there is a huge population. I think they're like yeah. 80 million yeah. or something for the size of the country. But It's very beautiful. I love the beaches. I love the food. And the men are cute. Really? Yeah. Algerians, too. Oh. Oh, my beautiful country. Algeria. I've got a lot of love for Algeria. Really? Uh, it's, yeah, it's it's one of those that wouldn't spring to mind immediately when you think of like a vacation place, but it has a lot of beauty. Mm -hmm. And I like Algerian uh, dudes as well. They're like they're like stand-up guys. They're, the, you know, they're a little crazy, but the good kind of crazy. You the kind of guys are a little crazy too. Well, that's the thing. That's why I think we understand each <laughs> other. If, if you got in a fight, I would like to have an Algerian on my side or a Libyan on my side for sure. You know, but that, I'm just saying. I'm just, <laughs> that's how I equate good guys. Is okay. If you got in a fight, who would you want on your side? Okay. 
Syrians are very loud. <laughs> they're very loud and they're very, very, very passionate. I yeah. think of very scary people. Very scary. A rough bunch. They're, you know they're like I mean? the like, Compton of North Africa. So every time we meet outside of the country, like we always recognize each other and we always like click. Our government is quite the True. opposite. Chef Khaled. He's like a singer. Legend. He's amazing. We are all known for our flag. So we put our flag everywhere. So even like in a World Cup final. He's so proud. He is so we proud. We put our flag everywhere. No, where Algeria is not playing, there is the flag there. <laughs> Tunisia. I also got a lot of love for Tunisia. Tunisia is our so neighboring close, country, yeah. yeah, and it's kind of like, um, as I say, without getting like uh, too political, when all the issues happen like in Libya, it's been a safe of, haven right? for Libya. So we have we have a lot of love for the for Tunisians, but there's also obviously that little bit because when your neighbors like Canada and US, you know what I mean. But did Israel? you say Tunisia yeah. is? Um, I'm probably gonna sound stupid. Didn't you say Tunisia is like the party? Like if you wanted to go like well, for Libyans it is that's what I because mean because it was the closest to us it was only three hour drive so right. and alcohol's legal over that's there that's what it was so yeah. that's and it's illegal in Libya okay so. yeah, yeah the flag there Tunisia they have a weird accent especially when guys talk they got French Arabic <laughs> thing going right yeah but I think Moroccans it's more hilarious and Tunisians are kind of like less French more Arab like they're very quiet just like a mixture of of like uh, Middle Eastern North, and North yeah, African, exactly. they're right. literally in the middle. Very beautiful country, uh, it's on border of the beach, Mediterranean Sea, amazing food to be honest. Yeah. Your couscous with yeah. fish is oh, gosh, so amazing. That's true nice actually, guy. they make uh, some of the best couscous with fish. Really? Yeah, in the... Uh, Anyway, be honest, Libya. Yeah. Your couscous with yeah. fish is oh, so amazing. See what happens here. I think of... Oh no. I think of... I think of... We don't like... Hang on. Well, that guy. <laughs> I think like Gaddafi. Other than Gaddafi, nobody knows anything about Libyans. Like yeah. he walks into a room, he goes, "Woo!" Like he does that a lot. I've like, seen a lot of comics. Gaddafi is the funniest. Like um, oil. It's such a huge land. Oh. This is where you want to live, but it's like desert. Yeah. It's just nothing but desert for like miles and miles. They didn't do a very good job on that one. <laughs> they did not do a very good job on that one. All it was was. It's all desert, and we don't like Gaddafi. <laughs> Are we gonna quit this video? Listen. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> first and foremost, first and foremost, this bitch. Where is she? This is where you want to live. Nobody knows anything about. I think. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Is that right? Okay. All right. No, she said. Yeah, she said. Oh no, we don't like. We don't like that guy. I think, of, I think of, we don't like that guy. <laughs> I think like <laughs> think They were talking about. Nobody knows anything. This about fucking guy here. Like, yeah. He walks into a room. He goes, "Woo!" Like he does that a lot. I've like, seen a lot of comics. Gaddafi is the funniest. Like um, oil. What? It's such a huge land. Oh. This is where you want to live, but it's like desert. Do you know what he is? No offense to him, but you can tell he's somebody that. May I? May I? Yeah. Maybe. Sorry, baby. I was May gonna I? Try to... Yeah. هذا شكله مشي البلاد في التسعينات مرة ولا مرتين وتوه عايش لي في شيكاغو and now I tell he's telling Americans hey, no, Libya, I'm from Li let me tell you something this guy is an American yeah. first and foremost yeah. uh, Libya uh, what what do they say oil uh, and then this idiot's going just desert let me tell you what Libya is I'll tell you exactly what Libya is uh, forget these last ten years of this uh, this turmoil, which, by the way, is obviously the fault of the U.S., the French, and the and the British. Libya, as a as a place, first of all, a, 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 we're talking well over a thousand miles, well over almost two thousand kilometers of untouched uh, coastal line. If you see the beaches in Libya. Some of them you will never see around. I've been very lucky to travel around the world. I've never seen them because we never had. Obviously, Gaddafi kept the tourists out. All of it, babe, to the highest, highest standard. Mm -hmm. The history in Libya, Sobrata alone, the city of Sobrata, okay? Some of the best Roman 
uh, uh, ruins that have been left, some of them even better than when I went to Italy. Highest preserved. I mean, you can go there and you feel like you're literally in Rome 2,000 years ago, whatever it was. Highly high. Not to mention Sobrata has uh, its own like coastal, like rocky beach. It's just f phenomenal beauty. Uh, the old cities of uh, Rdemus, the old city in Tripoli, uh, a highest of beautiful uh, architecture. It is. I've seen pictures. Beautiful. Never um, the, and then this this idiot here with the it's all just desert listen some of the most beautiful desert dunes you've ever seen in your life okay in the sahara not to mention that there's these there's these like oasises in the middle of the wait is that, i don't know if that's a word in the middle of the desert where it's like the purest of lakes i can't even describe it to you i'll have to show you some pictures okay where there's it's like you're in the middle of the desert and just imagine this ginormous pool surrounded by tropical trees and stuff it's crazy okay there's this one place in libya called um uh, uh Wawan Namus, I think that was the name of it. That's it was it's a volcano that basically like exploded, I don't know how many years, and there's and it's also in a way like you look at it and when you see it, it almost looked like it's like AI made it, like it's not even real this place. That's how stunning it is, and only very few people have seen it. It's in the middle of the desert. Not to mention again, some of the old old there's this one area, again I can't think of the name of it at the top of my head, but I was looking at a picture the other day and I thought, God, if I was like a Game of Thrones like director and I was looking for somewhere to like, you know, an epic battle, I need to remember the name. Does it matter? Gorgeous. Not to mention uh, the city of Tripoli and cities of Benghazi buzzing. They're cities that are alive, okay? They're alive, okay? Again, forget the last 10 years, the last 12 years since this turmoil. I'm talking about just there was life there, there was movement, and all without, by the way, alcohol. You know how alcohol infuses everything. It's a dry country, and still, it's buzzing, it's busy, people are laughing, there's style, there's even our food. I would argue that we've took taken some of the Moroccan food and things like that and made it better. We come from food of... Uh, I'm talking to Libyans now. Bazin, uh, uh, which is uh, I'm not a huge fan of, but it's still an original. Mbakabka, Mbatan. We've taken some of their food and made it better, like kuskusi and like and like uh, you know, thing uh, shakshuka and things like that. I think we've made it better. We come from. A long line of historical people, Omar Mukhtar, who was a great warrior. We come from great music of Muhammad Hassan. Uh, we come from you know like. And by the way, on the oil, yeah, you're damn right we got some oil. In fact, the biggest oil reserves in the world, uh, in sorry, in Africa, not the world, the biggest oil reserves in Africa, our gas, there's enough gas in Libya to last the next 350 years, they say, okay? So when the lights are on and you guys are like the air conditioning, you can thank us later, by the way. Oh, it's just oil. And by the way, on Gaddafi, uh, uh, we don't like him. And I could say some negative things about Egypt, by the way, Egyptian sister. But I'm not going to because it's not that kind of video, all right? Uh, we don't like blah, blah, blah. On Gaddafi, there was good and there was bad. Let me tell you, anyone who tells you it was all bad is a liar. And anyone who tells you it was all good is also a liar, okay? But, to you know, we were in a much, much, much better position as Libyans under Gaddafi than the Tunisians, Moroccans, or Egyptians ever were under their under their uh, leaders and they know it this guy i don't know where they found him but anyway so uh, let's get back to the video <laughs> Blacked out yeah, for a second. Not... I don't know if you can tell, but I love Libya. And Libya uh, needs somebody to protect it and defend yeah. it. Like, I'm half British, but England's got enough history. And d England's got the Beatles and David Beckham and the people to protect it all day. But no one's got someone to protect Libya. And then when we have somebody who has a chance to, to stand up for it, he doesn't know a goddamn thing. Nothing but desert for, like, miles and miles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sudan you go gets a rep for being lazy. I like lazy Sudan. I like Sudanese. Sudan. I like Sudanese that's music. that's not true. We're just <laughs> energy back. conscious. Ooh, music. Something about Sudanese music sounds so uplifting. It's like they are Arabic, they are Muslims, but they have, like, um, this mixture with Africans. Unique styles of fashion as well. They love like just wearing too much cologne they just love letting you know that they're in the room it's that hajj got good muslim vibes one, in these. Yeah. where it's like you that smell it in a box. exactly like that's yes, like, exactly. like a muslim uncle exactly. always has that sudan it's not us right sudan the original oh, pyramids i guess that's right don't forget it we we'll have the most it's more than egypt <laughs> what how can you have 200 pyramids and that's not the first thing that people know about you? Like, that's, small. let's just be honest. They're small. Like, like somebody's just like, crazy. Like, people don't even know that. Yeah. It's 200 in Sudan. Mint tea? 
Morocco. Is it Morocco? Morocco. Oh, <laughs> me. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yes. I drank when tea before coming here. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Every single day at <laughs> the morning is my first thing to do. <laughs> Libya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. What was the question? Best is funny. You want to say? Two, two. I didn't see the question. That's what I'm hoping. About just the best is funny. Go back. Thank you. Libya. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's making fun of Libyans because we're probably the most un um, most conservative. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. He's just the best is funny. You want to say? It's kind of true. Tunisia. Yeah. Is it Tunisia. Oh shoot! Yeah. Tunisia. Look at you! Come on, we are the first country to have. Come on, to Yeah, that's true. Yeah, of course. Egypt. Yeah, it must be. Can we let her? <laughs> like, she said she was gonna answer first. Uh, Egypt. Egypt. My belly dance teacher is Egyptian. You belly dance? Yeah. Can you show us? No. <laughs> Do you like work. the shirt up or no? <laughs> like it's like it's like this. That's yeah, too like, sexual. Like, yeah. <laughs> You just kind of like he's living at the Algeria, the and then you, you know, I just disgraced my entire lineage. <laughs> uh, Algeria. Oh my God. Egypt. Egypt. No, Libya. It's Algeria. What? Algeria. Thank you. Before the war in Sudan, Sudan was the biggest country in Africa. Libya. Libya. I learned that from the. Kujina. <laughs> That's because they were colonized by Italians. <laughs> Probably were eating all the time. Algeria. Okay, yeah. yeah. I listen to a lot of this style. I love right. Yeah. Yes. Algeria. Okay. Can you sing us that? Really? Oh, here we go. She's annoying me. She's annoying me. She's really annoying me. She's like, this is my moment. <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah, that must have been like some of my favorite countries. There. That must be. Yeah. <laughs> I know this one. Morocco. Morocco. Hash, please. <laughs> Morocco. Hash. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just do as if we didn't know. Egypt. 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 Must be. Because they have like 90 billion people. Right. Anyway. It's busy as hell. Right. No, it must be us, just by sheer numbers. Oh yeah. Egypt, right. It's Egypt. 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 Yeah. We had the Actually, Facebook Egypt. revolution, I, I, I son. After the Algerian, of course, uh, <laughs> Egyptian. Egyptian girls, pretty sexy. I would honestly say men, Libyan men are the best, best looking in North Africa. <laughs> of course you're going to say that. No, but I would. Oh, no, but Libyan on. men are yeah. attractive. I For think. sure. Like uh, looking honestly, at all Arab men. I know it's going to sound like I'm being biased of telling no, you. No, they really are. I don't know about the girls, uh, but for the men, I for sure. I feel like it's some Egyptian men are attractive, though. Like, no, I I think it's like the mixed Egyptian men. Yeah, but mixed doesn't count, though, does it? I don't know. Because I'm mixed and I don't look Libyan. You're not so, attractive. Well, that's my point. <laughs> that's why it's exactly my you. point. Shut up. Okay. Let's Hello, get back to the... <laughs> uh, the women, they have like this innocent beauty. I'm going to say Morocco. That's when they get that European thing coming they in. They got the minty coming in. Yeah, they oh, got those the so green, ooh. the green eyes. Also, we have this diversity in Morocco. In the north, you will see different people than those on the south and in the middle of the country. Like, everything is different. For me, it's a tie between Morocco and Tunisia because Tunisians yeah. have like very dark features where I feel like Moroccans have like Usually, like lighter features. Yeah, Moroccan Depends. women are, are beautiful. I think Arab women it's as a, a, as a woman are beautiful. What's women. that? Arab women. Yeah, I think so, especially rule, if, you, them... if you're like into the darker features, darker yeah. eyes, darker hair, which most guys are, then yeah, they are. Us, like Morocco. without a doubt. Like, no, like I'm not, if anybody tells you otherwise, I'm I'm coming. I would say Libya. No, I could tell them. Just talk about the cuisine. No. Now you're getting, cooking. you're gonna like. No, no, I'm just. I, but I would. I've, I've tasted it everywhere. And I'm telling yeah. you, I, <laughs> they obviously know nothing about Libya. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure everybody said their own countries. Yeah. Uh, right. We have like a thousand dishes, so like yeah. you can't not like something. You're a vegetarian. There's something for you. You like lamb. Yeah. There's something for you. Okay, let's put it this way. Couscous, for example. Every country has their own way of making couscous. I tried the Moroccan one. I didn't like it, even though I love. Me too. So even us in Tunisia, in every city, they have their own way of making it. We have like pastillas. We make paellas too. Oh, we yeah. have like hufisa, which is like this chicken. I have to give it to Egypt. I hate to do it, but they killed Lib falafel. Sorry, Libyans. We tried. It was voted the best at some point. Like mm -hmm. we're not gonna argue with that. 
Sudan. Woo! I will say it's between Tunisia and Morocco. I think at the end of the day, like we do have everything. Like if you want to go to mountains, if you want like the desert, um, if you want like kind of like a city vibe. Every country is cool if Low you are country. a tourist. So I would choose maybe Egypt because I've, I've, I've been there and I lived as a tourist and it was amazing. Everybody loved me. Tunisia. I find them pretty cool. They just have this like this very assertive presence about them and just kind of like they're just very secure in their identity and they just kind of know who they are. I think that's what coolness is just kind of like knowing who you are not needing to like prove anything to anyone and that's kind of that's what I would I be see. interested to know so because reason. because obviously most of these not most but I would say a lot of them are like the younger generation mm -hmm. and you can tell some of them are very americanized like right. for example the like the libyan guy i'm not just saying that because of what you said but <laughs> he like no genuinely i'm not kidding like i wonder if half of these people have even been to like these other countries or they're just saying it because they know of what they've heard from their parents that's what i think or too. what they've seen like i right. doubt like for example that girl i don't know but i like I highly doubt she's been to every single one of these countries. Definitely not. So how is she going to know? Definitely you not. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like him. <laughs> All right. Well, that was supposed to be like a bit of fun and it got me going. <laughs> no, I mean... Like, listen, obviously, it's not even from a biased thing, but you could see that they were biased against Libya. Yeah. Like, no one, had, you know, it was just, like, yeah. negative. And that's why, you know, I feel so passionate. As you know, I love Libya. And uh, especially after what happened in these last 12 years, the only reason Libya survived as a nation with no electricity, no gas, no cash in the bank, sometimes food shortages, sometimes just explosions left, right, and center, is because of the will of the Libyan people. Mm -hmm. من أحسن وأطيب شعب في العالم. Trust me, I've lived in seven countries. I don't know if I mentioned that part. Okay, I'm telling you, I I I know what I'm talking about. And uh, Libyans should be very very proud of themselves. In the last twelve years, they've forgotten who they are and what they're about. And so, um, you know, that's like idea. Anyway, so uh, yeah, any thoughts? Any of those countries, which one would you like to visit? Obviously, you have no choice. One day when Libya is safe enough, you will have to go. <laughs> safe enough. <laughs> yes, it's not at the minute. That's I the know. fact. But uh, apart from that, any of those that you would like to visit? I would like to visit Egypt. You would? Obviously. Yeah, okay. I would like to visit Egypt. My middle name's Cleopatra. Hello. <laughs> but no. The one I, I enjoyed most was Morocco, actually. I, I was going to say, I think probably Morocco would probably be tied with Egypt. Mm -hmm. But I think Morocco would be a cool place. Yeah. I mean, I like all of them, um, but uh, I have not been to uh, Algeria. I had, but I was there overnight. Flight, it's not it the same. It wasn't like a real. Um, but um, yeah, no, Morocco had a lot about it. Obviously, as I say, we have a lot of love for Tunisia. Egypt is Egypt, but the only thing I don't like about those countries, which is a big difference to Libya, is like when you're in like the really cool cultural markets and stuff. Like the the shop owners, they're literally harassing you. Like it's yeah. really, really it can get overwhelming. For I mean, I, I, you'd be alright. Like with harassing me. you to try to buy things. Yes, and it's, stuff. please come try. Uh, you know, it's like uh, ah, beautiful lady, like in your face uh, from every angle, and you're just trying to look at stuff. If you just to go like that to something, they'd be like, ah, this one. I mean, beautiful. it was it was kind of like that on like a smaller scale in Turkey. In Turkey, yeah, we went but it's to much the smaller Grand in Bazaar in Turkey, yeah. and they, I just scream little white girl and yeah, they're just did. like oh, oh beautiful you want this you want this bag you want this you want this you want this. yeah he said hey hey, hey. No. <laughs> you know what before we go i'm going to tell you a funny story okay a quick funny story about akasha i take her to turkey it's the first time in her life that she's been to the eastern side of the world all right so at that point she'd only been to the uk i'd taken her to uh, malta taken her to um you know obviously anyway she'd never been to a country like turkey like somewhere in the east you know we're a bit of hustle and bustle and chaos so when we got the Grand Bazaar, about, yeah. I'm going to tell you, when we got the Grand Bazaar, I said to her, listen, um, you, uh, I said to her, how do I put this? I was like, things don't cost what they cost here. And she's like, okay, like, what do you mean? I don't appreciate that. Okay, like, well, like, what do you mean by that? And I said, and I said, basically here, like, you have to haggle. You know, obviously in America, if something is 189, it's 189. Or even in Europe, if something's 299, it's 299. It's not like that in Turkey. So she's like, okay, got it, got it, okay, gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> got a haggle, okay, cool. So the first place we go 
it's like I think she like picks up like some bracelet or something that she likes, right? And I was like, right, go on, your turn, off you go. So she goes to the shopkeeper and she's like, excuse me, sir. Already the American, <laughs> polite and like you know, just ca- excuse me, sir. And he turns around, and says, hello. She's he says to her, she says to him, how much is this? Um, how much is this? Uh, oh no, it was the it was the sweets. It wasn't the bracelet. It was the, it was sweets, the sweets. Yeah. How much? And the guy goes, for you. No, no way. It goes like this. He goes, okay, okay, sister, sister, okay. Usually, usually, this 150. Okay. Today, exactly how it was. we are doing special discount. Only today. <laughs> special discount. Okay. 100. So not 150, 100. But also, you are beautiful lady, beautiful smile, beautiful eyes. I give you for 90. She goes, okay. I was like, what? I literally turned around. I was like, what a great deal. We should get this. I'm like. No, it was so bad. I'm like this. I got to be finish the story. I'm like this. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry. One se- babe, one second. <laughs> so I was like, babe, what do you do? And she goes, babe, it's usually 150, but today there's a discount to 100. <laughs> and because I'm pretty and everything. Um, it's 90. Great deal. I'm like, baby says that to everyone. Nuh-uh. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay. So then she got, so now I was like, one second. So I said, I said, brother, how much did you say? He said, uh, 90 for the lady. I said, I looked at him. And there's a big Libyan population in Turkey. I looked at him. I said, my brother, I'm from Libya. He said, oh, shit, 60. I yeah. said to him, I'll give you 50. He said, okay, deal. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, though, it is something you have to learn, though, because remember, even your sister, I tried to get better when we yeah. went. We were in Dubai yeah. and we went to a store and I really wanted to get a bracelet for my for me, like something for my sisters. Like and we go in and I was I thought I was a pro. I thought I was better. So we went over to one bracelet uh-huh. and I said, how much for this? And I've learned not to be like, um, excuse me, how much? I just <laughs> I own the room. How much for this? Twenty. And before I even tried to haggle, his sister comes by, grabs my hand, puts it down, looks at the lady, doesn't doesn't even make eye contact. She goes, 15 down the street, keep walking. (laughs) It was the funniest. I mean, I'm like, okay, I am not a pro like these people. I got to get better at it. The lady's like, okay, come back. I give you for 15. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said it was just so nonchalant. 15 down the street. 15 over there. (laughs) Okay, okay. I give you 15. Come back, sister. Come back. (laughs) Anyway, uh, oh yeah, God. cultures are fun, and uh, hope whoever did watch the video, uh, you enjoyed and maybe learned something. Who knows? <laughs> um, any last thoughts, babe? No. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out at Instagram, Culture Clash Reactions. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. Till next time. See you later. <laughs>